Like the rest of the world, the last few years have been a challenging time for Methodist Family Health. 2019 brought the 120th anniversary of our beginnings as the Methodist Orphanage in 1899, before becoming the Methodist Children's Home in the 1950s. Today, we offer a statewide continuum of care for children and families dealing with psychiatric, behavioral, emotional, and spiritual issues. That happy celebration was quickly followed by an event that would change all our lives. In March 2020, the first confirmed case of COVID-19 was announced in Arkansas. Like other healthcare organizations, shutting down our operation to wait out the disease was not possible. In the growing dark days ahead, our services to support mental health were more needed than ever. So we coped by putting more emphasis on telemedicine and early inoculation for our staff to help ensure the health of our patients and workers. Arkansas's United Methodists supported us with handmade masks. Contributions to our Get Up and Give drive to collect daily necessities for our patients and writing notes to the children in our care to help cheer them in a worrying time. Methodist Family Health is a nonprofit relying on the support of donors and organizations. Our biggest fundraising events of the year had to be shifted from live in person events and church visits to online events. For the last two years, our Gala Southern Silks Stakes has been a virtual event. Our crucial holiday fundraising campaign, Share the Light, required finding creative ways to get the message out without personal visits. Knowing all of us had enough bad news, we started a transitional campaign to brighten hope and belief in better days ahead. The message growing from our traditional year-end Share the Light theme became simply shine. And we started shining light wherever we could. We designed a special logo and commissioned a song from Arkansas songwriter Jason Lee Hale. We made music videos and ads and even put the upbeat message on reusable tote bags. Arkansas's United Methodist Churches supported us through all of that and helped make the last two years successful now we are looking at new ways to do normal and as we emerge from the pandemic we look to you to help us continue our mission to provide the best possible care to those who may need our help thank you